Hello, everyone. Welcome to Cudlow. I'm Larry Cudlow. So, is war fever running through the White House all of a sudden? Take a listen to Madam Saki at this afternoon's press briefing. Let's be clear. Our view is this is an extremely dangerous situation. We're now at a stage where Russia could at any point launch an attack in Ukraine. Uh, and what Secretary Blinken is going to go do uh, is highlight very clearly there is a diplomatic path forward. Yeah, so the story evolves. First, it was diplomacy. Then it was a possible Russian invasion of the Ukraine between mid-January and mid-February. Now, an invasion can happen at any point. Wow. I guess that means Biden diplomacy has failed. His sanction threats have been ineffective. His diplomats are running all over the globe with meetings, phone calls, Zooms, all to no avail. Biden has had two virtual calls with Putin, so far to no avail. Meanwhile, the Russian stock market has collapsed. It's down 13% in just the last four days, down 6.5% today alone. The state's leading bank lending company dropped over 8% today. Oil markets are seizing up. West Texas crude run up all the way to $86. Brent European crude up to $88. If war does break out, they will both crash through 100 bucks. Count on it. The Dow Jones off as much as 600 points today. At the close, it was down about 500 plus. Ten-year interest rates have shot up to nearly 190. Now, the United Kingdom, Britain, sending troops and equipment to the Ukraine, ignoring Germany. Germans said you can't fly over our airspace. Brits don't have to fly over the German airspace. The German foreign minister going to Moscow, she has been an unreliable, uber dovish so-called U.S. ally. I don't know what she's going to do in Moscow. That can't be good. Meanwhile, Secretary Blinken's going to meet with Russian Foreign Minister Lavrov on Friday. No one knows what Mr. Blinken's agenda is. His agenda as in America first agenda. What exactly is he going to say? Because if you don't have anything to say, then don't go. Russian troops moved into Belarus over the weekend. That can't be good. And the story goes on. Look, we can blame Putin all we want, and he certainly deserves plenty of the blame for this fantastical, romanticized illusions he has about Russian history and power. But I don't think any of this would have happened were it not for the catastrophic cut-and-run Biden withdrawal from Afghanistan against the advice of his military advisors and just about any common-sense diplomat outside of the White House. We're going to talk to former National Security Advisor Keith Kellogg about all this in just a little while. Meanwhile, you want to see some strength and toughness and backbone. Take a look in Virginia, where new Governor Glenn Youngkin has ended critical race theory Divisions in schools made masking optional on the advice of parents and fired the Virginia Patrol Board. Did all this only hours after his inauguration. His attorney general, Jason Mayeris, reportedly fired 30 staffers, announced an investigation into the state's parole board for letting out murderers, rapists, and cop killers early in their sentences without notifying the victims. And launched an investigation of the Loudoun County Public Schools for covering up sexual assaults. In other words, tough on crime. None of this woke, no bail, no jail stuff that we are seeing in New York City and across the country with radical left progressive attorneys general. Governor Yunkin and Attorney General Mieres. Mr. Mieres, by the way, will be our guest right on this show in just a few moments. Meanwhile, they have provided a distinct contrast to the radical left law enforcement progressivism of the Biden era. It is a welcome change. It will resonate nationwide. I doubt if the Democratic Party yet even knows what has just hit them, but they soon will. Now, Alvin Bragg, the far left Manhattan DA, is going to become a national figure, a symbol of how not to conduct law enforcement how not to protect citizens, how not to reduce crime. His no bail, no jail. Actually, over half of his staff just walked out on their own. Again, 